Hi Libras, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for December for all placements. Um, feel free to subscribe and thumbs up and check out all the links in the box below as well as the Teespring uh, new merchandise that I've launched on the channel. Thank you so much for all the support. If you're new, welcome to my channel and let's go ahead and look into the cards for December. Okay, we have three of cups, three of swords, you verse. There's a trend here, Libra. And the hermit in the middle. Let's get two more with this deck over here. Five of wands and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so there's there's one word that comes to my mind as I'm pulling these cards, Libra. And what I'm getting is chaos, okay, with a ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, there definitely is an energy here of like feeling overwhelmed. So I would definitely say this month, you know, as we're, you know, 2020 is coming to a close, um, make sure that you're taking some time for yourself, Libra, to breathe out, okay? Um, please do not get caught up in trying to compete for anybody's attention. Um, I don't feel like that's going to serve you um, in the best way. Based upon these cards here that I'm seeing, Libra, it definitely feels like you need to put your energy um, more towards the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And not the Three of Swords reversed, and definitely not the Ten of Wands, okay? Let's pull some Romance Angel and see what's going on. Now, of course, take the messages that apply, leave the rest, okay? This is just like, a, you know, a, the most dominant energy that I'm getting is what the cards will produce okay whatever is the most dominant libra energy that's how it works with these general public readings okay express your love attraction so here's a dilemma libra i feel like you're waiting for somebody you know i definitely feel here like you're waiting for some kind of sign from the universe you know with that pentacle in the hand extended outwards it gives me this vibe of like you're waiting for an offer you could possibly be waiting for an from for for a love offer from more than one person actually if you're single dating around this could be trying to test the waters here there's a lot of competition a lot of um i see like anxiety i almost want to say like anxiety about this this could be the one attraction express your love okay let's see like two more here let's see what's going on libra december what is this burden about retreat reverse and let go of control issues what is this burden about? The tower. Okay. The burden is the death card and the tower. Okay. The reason why I'm actually happy in a weird way to see the tower card, Libra. Now, I know that's not what you know usually comes out of my mouth when I say things about the tower card. But in this case, I do feel like it's positive because exactly there's going to be a lot of forward movement. OK, because of whatever has not gone right um, and has gone wrong, Libra, it's going to like I feel enable you to have a new beginning um you know elsewhere is what i'm picking up okay so the reason why i'm happy to see this is because you have been carrying some kind of burden whether it's self-esteem uh, you know issues or third party you know drama or karmic stuff like whatever that gunky stuff is libra i feel like the tower is a sure sign that this is coming to a close so in your case libra um, I can't speak for the other signs, but in your case this month, the tower card is actually a positive sign because it's showing that all the heartache and all the, just the, the pettiness is coming to a close. Okay. This is going to come to a close now. So there is going to be quick action. What is this quick action about? What is this quick action about? What is this quick, what is this quick action about? Let's see. What is this quick action about, Libra? Eight of Swords. Ten of Cups. Cut the deck. Uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, this could be a fire sign coming towards you with a new love offer or a new love. Yeah, I am feeling fire sign energy, passion, and worth waiting for. 
soulmate hello okay so for those singles especially who just got over a heartache or like you know you had to walk away close the door on something um what i'm seeing here is that there is going to be some kind of happy happy ending okay so even if you have to you know walk away from someone or have a tough conversation or block someone whatever the case may be libra i feel like in general you are letting the past go you know i feel like this tower card is a good symbol of letting the old things in our lives and the baggage melt away okay just let it go let it leave your life okay if somebody walked away from you libra let them go you know if you're a cross watcher watching for a libra if a Libra walked away for good, you know, let them go. That's what these cards are saying here is let the chips fall where they may. You don't have to force anything, okay? Libra, whatever is meant for you this month with the Ace of Pentacles and the Celebration card, Three of Cups upright, not reversed. I feel like this is a symbol that there is going to be happy moments ahead, okay? You know, maybe you've gone through a hard year or like, you know, um, Scorpio season was rough. Maybe your own season, Libra season was rough, you know. Um, you know, I, I get that vibe. Like maybe there was a lot of rough patches that you've experienced, you know, there are a lot of tough things that you've experienced. But the good news is that you are going into not only a brand new year very soon, but a brand new cycle, Libra. So um, depending upon the, your your situation, I'm seeing lots of options, okay? Um I'm seeing a lot, lots of options. From time to time, I do offer private. So if you are interested, you can shoot me an email. Um, but that availability will only be notified on my actual website. So um, look out for that. Okay, that's in the description box below. So let's go ahead and pull three cards here. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Libras. Love. December. Yeah, and I also feel like this is a, another sure sign that you are walking into abundance. So sometimes, Libra, things have to leave our life um, in order for things to blossom, okay? I also get the vibe here that somebody could be watching you with the Hermit card, you know, solitude. There is an energy here, possibly somebody from your past, I feel, is watching you and like they're kind of sizing up the competition. So if you were with an ex or, you know, you were talking to somebody who was quite jealous, in any way shape or form i feel like this person's still watching you libra i just want you to know that this could be a leo this could be a virgo this could be a gemini or scorpio aries sagittarius or leo i get those signs capricorn as well and taurus rising or venus those are the car those are the signs i'm getting for the, the the watching like they're 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 watching okay so giving up this burden exactly ace of cups for a new beginning five of wands reverse six of cups nine of cups yeah you're going to be walking into a much happier period okay so sit tight libra okay you're you're walking into something a lot better like whatever is coming up for you whatever your whatever your heart is feeling more pulled towards is going to be more beneficial for you i feel like maybe in the past you know you were feeling kind of stuck libra if you're the cross watcher watch for, watching the libra signs you know you felt kind of stuck i feel like these cards are saying that you're not going to be stuck for much longer okay maybe right now you are this person or both of you are going through like a dark night of the soul or an awakening period that's natural that's fine but i still feel like um this is a good sign actually that you know things that are not serving you are coming to a close if it's a relationship that's also coming to a close okay so watch your inner circle this month libra um if you are taken if you are with somebody uh you know look out for the red flags because if you guys have been having problems i do see there could be a dissolvement of that uh commitment because it's like whatever whatever has been going on has been very painful especially if you're married um for those who can resonate of course don't take what doesn't apply but if you're married and you've been going through a lot of problems like this is this is the end of the problems you know this this could be separation or this could just be the end of the arguing you know that's that's how i'm interpreting the cards okay yes victory so exactly when all is said and done libra you're gonna have victory i just feel like maybe this month is just a you know a, 
a month to learn a lot of new things about yourself, maybe, you know, get more clarity about a certain person that you were entrusted in. Like you're going to get a lot of epiphanies, a lot of downloads, a lot of insight into um, your relationships. Okay. A lot of relationships, a lot of things, people, friendships as well. I'm seeing here that you probably could have worked hard on. Um, I feel like spirits asking you to really measure those things up. Okay. You know, is there a balance? Is it, is it fair? Is it what, is it worth all the pentacles and all the blood, sweat, and tears you put into it? If it is, it's going to be victorious. If it's not, it's probably going to end. Okay, so this is like a turning point. All right, things that you've been putting your energy into with the high priestess could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Pisces, Libra. Yeah, lots of water. Like if this is a water sign, I really feel like, especially Cancer, I feel like they want to offer something to you, but they could be shy or holding themselves back. You know, I see somebody watching you. I see somebody watching you, but ultimately, Libra, this is a turning point, okay, for you to measure up. Measure up a lot of things in your life and see, is it worth it? You know, this whole year, right, of, of introspection and working hard and growth, was it worth it? Was it worth all this baggage and I feel like this month is going to be the turning point and your intuition is going to be uh, on point okay your intuition is very important this month so please Libra do not take your intuitive nudges and downloads and dreams and visions and synchronicities do not take these things for granted okay it's going to light your pa path it's going to help you move forward and I feel like you just need to let go Okay, forget the control issue part, just let go, let go, let God, and you know, have a lovely December. Okay, I will see you, Libras, on the next video. Bye.